month ago today, an Amarillo fire crew responded to a call of an explosion at a home on the 3600 block of Linwood Drive. As we reported, 14 homes were evacuated. DHS and the FBI were called in to help as the on-site investigation lasted four days. Now, those firefighters are sharing their experiences and how their quick thinking might have prevented another potential incident. The AFD crew says they did not expect what they found on Linwood Drive. When there is an actual explosion, you usually get multiple calls. We only received one call, so we thought it might be possibly a false call initially. We're thinking maybe a propane tank in a backyard, something like that, you know. Uh, not something to the magnitude that it actually turned out to be. When they got to the scene, they say there were red flags. We, we purposely turned our sirens off early before we got to the house just in case something was going on. And all we did was pull up out front and he had already came out front to meet us. That was kind of an interesting part, uh, maybe trying to hide something. He was just very skittish and uh, just saying some things that triggered us to think there was more going on than there actually was. He was kind of talking to all three of the guys and just kind of really answering a lot of questions before they were really asked. And just, uh, he was sweating really bad and just you could tell something was going on with him. They made calls to dispatch and citizens to learn more. Then they drove around the back of the house and into the alley. There, they saw there had been an explosion in the backyard. We saw two big craters in his backyard that I knew if like the, that was contained a little bit better, a little bit in a different environment, it could have been a whole lot worse. Um, safety was definitely an issue, but at that point, we just needed to get PD there as soon as we can, let them start investigating. APD's bomb team determined there were explosive materials in the alley, backyard, and home. Relieved that it didn't turn out to be anything else because through what they did find over the whole entire d couple of days that they did it, I mean, it could have been very bad. At multiple locations. So, the suspect, 32-year-old Irfan Samanzadeh, has been federally charged with one count of a possession of destructive device and was charged by the state with possession of components of explosives. If convicted on the federal charge, he faces up to 10 years in prison. Court documents detailing what was found during that investigation remain sealed.